Your chords and melodies sound too basic, I have to tell you. But there are some simple techniques you can do, prop producers do, that completely change their sound. I'll show you 5 simple mini tricks that will spice up your songs and will help you create catchy melodies. Fifth, it's my favorite. So, say to the end. If you are like me, you struggle to make catchy melodies and when writing you hit the wrong notes. There is a simple trick you can try. A melody that doesn't follow the harmonic structure can feel disconnected from your chords, resulting in a horrible melody. So you can try using the notes from your chords to ensure they are harmonically connected and they are telling a cohesive musical story. Let me show you. We have these chords, these are on D major. So if I want to write a top melody following this, we can try to follow the notes of the chords. On the first chord we have D, A and F sharp. So what I would do now is to play a little bit the chords. And here I have my keyboard, so I'm gonna try to play the notes of the chords randomly till I find some inspiration. Okay, I'm gonna start with D. For the first part you can see these are the actual chord notes. Now I'm gonna copy uh, the same structure but maybe change in a little bit the notes. Now you can see that I switched one note to the A, we actually had it before, but you can see that this worked because of this note that it's also on the chord. Now that we have a structure, you can follow the melody as we want. And same thing for this last part, here I'm following the same structure but you can see the main note here is the F sharp, the note that we have here. And for this final part we have D sharp here, we have D here and we could maybe even go to A but I think for now it sounds good, let's, let's hear what we have. I found in most of my students the same issue. They use the chorus root note as the bass notes of the track. Although this is not something specifically wrong, it can make your track sound basic and boring. For example, I have this chorus now. And we can add a bass pattern. So what producers normally do is to go here and select all the root notes of the chords, which although these chords are inverted and they are not in the basic form, these are the, the actual root notes. We can go to the bass pattern, paste them there, and it will sound like this. Again, this is not wrong. I took the root notes of the chords and these are what actually drive the motion of those chords, but you could make it something more interesting. Listeners like to receive what they expect, meaning the root note, but adding some surprise factor will make them feel engaged with the story of the song. What you could do is to go for different notes on the bass. Okay, so this is our bass and I just copied the chords on another element that has no sound so we can also see the chord notes. So let's try maybe going a little bit different. We usually want to use the notes of the chord, so it's not too weird, just so they don't clash with the actual bass. Okay, so as you can see, we have A here where the root note was D. For the single part, the root note was A and we have E. Then we have our actual root note, but one octave higher. And the same thing here for the G. This is all together.
which is nice but what I also like to do is to double the length of the bass pattern and change the notes like an A and B part so I'm gonna duplicate the chords and for the bass we're going to do the same but on part A I'll leave the root notes actually for the root notes we can go one octave higher because it's too low and what we could even do is to change the second part of the chord Something like that. Let's see now. Great, we are now telling a full, longer, and in my opinion, deeper story. Okay, now, if you really want to improve your music, you should. How does this appear here? I don't know. Man, what I'm doing. <laughs> Sometimes you lack of inspiration or you get hit with producer's block. Therefore, there are two things you could do. Steal the course from another track, which I made a full video. In this topic, you can click the card that is showing there. Or you can get instant inspiration with MIDI packs. Or if I just release an EDM MIDI pack with 500 chords and melodies you can simply drag and drop to get instant ideas. It's pretty simple, let me randomly select an idea. Again, another run. So let's say you find a MIDI that you like, but don't want to use it as it is. Well, you can remove, for example, the top melody and use the chords. You can use card inversions or even add extra notes if you want. Um, let's do something like this. Maybe even adding this one and this one here. Awesome. You can even change the key by moving them. Or you can even create a top melody using the tips that we already talked about in this video. Actually, I'm gonna save this idea, I really liked it. But yeah, as you can see, this took me seconds and it's a completely original idea. You have literally a thousand ideas in this pack. But this is a key element top producers use to fill and create atmosphere in their songs. If you already have your chord progression, you can select the top notes to create an instant atmosphere. Now let's copy them. Now you can select a sound you like, for example, this one. Or I may go with this one. I'm just pressing a key. Now what I like to do is to add a lot of reverb. I'm gonna go for RC20, uh, but just adding a lot of reverb here. Now we can paste the notes in the piano roll and we've got an atmosphere. You can also keep this note to add some tension, like for example, this atmosphere sound. So usually the root note works pretty well, but you can also try the note that is 7 semitones up. In this case is A, null sound. The next tip is my favorite because it's the perfect example of sometimes less is more. Let's say you already have your chord progression, but you haven't played with rhythms. Well, you can add spaces or move the notes to create some groove and tension. For example, this is my chord progression. We can add a little bit more rhythm, so I'm gonna short this note, move this one like around there. So now we have this. Which is nice, but here's where the tip comes because you can add a lot of groove and tension by removing sound. So we can, for example, short this note and this one. And let's hear now. This 
this is actually what Latin Mafia is doing on Patadas de Ogado. I love that track, here's a preview. Yeah, you can hear how this adds a lot of groove, but there's a secret tip nobody is talking about that guarantees success in top producer songs. I'm talking about this in this video, but if you need some extra inspiration, I'll leave a free MIDI pack in the description. And now that you are around there, subscribe in exchange for the free stuff, turn the notification sounds and hit the like button if you like this type of videos or tips. My name is X Guy. watch this video now and I'll see you there.